October 9th marks the creation of the Korean alphabet Hangul. Koreans celebrated the 570th birthday of the globally praised product of King Sejong in a variety of ways. Our Kim Hyesung takes us to some of these events. More than 3,000 people, including government officials, academics, and students, gathered in central Seoul to celebrate the 570th anniversary of the creation of the Korean alphabet, Hangul. Ten merit and service awards were given to those who contributed to the continuous development of Hangul, after which Prime Minister Hwang kyo wan gave a congratulatory address. The participants enjoyed a variety of performances and sang along to the song of Hangul Day while waving the Korean national flag. Hangul was invented by King Sejong the Great in the 15th century and is known as one of the most scientific and efficient alphabets in the world. With 14 consonants and 10 vowels, Hangul is easy to read and write. In 1997, it was inscribed on the UNESCO Memory of the World Heritage List for its uniqueness. And some tried it for themselves the traditional way, using a brush, ink, and paper to write Korean poems under the theme, Light the World with Hangul. I'm coming here with my wife to meet friends and to, uh, to take a trip to Korea. The Korean alphabet, I think it's the uh, most interesting alphabet because it's uh, made by a king and by a scientist and it's the only language uh, alphabet with uh, philosophic and anatomic background. I've studied calligraphy for nine months now. It's really nice to come here and write Hangul in front of King Sejong's statue. And to help children understand the history of Hangul, many Korean families enjoyed a range of outdoor events in the capital, including this one held by the National Hangul Museum. Kids used Hangul letters to make their own works of art and even created their own version of the Hangul manuscript, Hunmin Jeongum, the book written by King Sejong the Great that explains the principles and purpose of Hangul. I came here with my mom and made my own Hangul manuscript. It's really fun. On Hangul Day, people got a chance to reflect on the significance of the Korean alphabet, and some, like these kids, made wishes to write and use Hangul well. Kim Hyesung, Arirang News.